Cesar Borja from StockSoundVideo.com and I'm a Portuguese analyst so you're gonna have to excuse my poor English uh, but we're here to take a brief look at Smart Pros and the ticker symbol is PED uh, first of all let me say that I've looked at this company for just half an hour so probably I'll miss some things just had time to put up the charts, see fundamental trends and read the latest 10, 10 q filed with, with the SEC uh, so let's move on with this brief analysis you can see this is the chart since the company's IPO back in 2004 when they raised 6 million dollars they, they spent from those 6 million 1.3 million in acquisition so far so they still have uh, 4.7 million dollars from the IPO which is nice and uh, technically well the stock is quite bullish as you can see it had this shot here from five dollars to almost eight dollars in uh, in just uh, two months or so and uh, over the the short term well you can see here the stock uh, was uh, responding well to the 50 days simple moving average support and now it it broken out of six dollar resistance level and uh, the chart is really bullish and volume picked up uh, a bit here too but still very low volume around uh, 200,000 shares on its uh, best days uh, but uh, technically the stock is positive very bullish here as you can see as for the fundamentals well I've derived my valuation model this is a very simple Excel spreadsheet these yellow lines are known facts, the white lines are my four estimates which are dilution factor, revenue CAGR, final net profit margin estimate and earnings per share multiple estimate. And the dark yellow lines are just calculus made by the Excel spreadsheet. So let's move on with this. We have here the initial share price which is $7.75. The stock closed Friday at this, at this price and the uh, share count 4.88 million shares over the last 10 Q and that hasn't changed uh, let me put here just a second okay okay as you can see here on this money MSCN link uh, the share count has remained stable the company has been buying back a few shares but also issuing for uh, employee compensation uh, so roughly roughly the same number but declining a bit and I welcome this uh, okay so dilution factor 1% because of what I've said the, the company on one side buys back some shares but on the other side it has to issue some some shares to its employees so I expect the share count to remain roughly the same and be 4.9 million or so in 2009 three years from now uh, initial revenue this is 2006 revenue it was 12 and a half million dollars and I expect this to grow 47 percent a year going forward this was the 2007 growth when compared to Q1 2006 Q1 2007 compared to Q1 2006 revenue it grew 47 percent <laughs> the company has been growing a lot through acquisitions and uh, making those acquisitions sell a lot more so I, I really enjoy it and this gives me final revenue for fiscal 2009 of 40 million dollars initial net profit margin 15.6 percent well this is the Q1 2007 net profit margin but this was very affected by special special items the the company didn't pay any taxes and it got a tax benefit that that's why it was so high 15.6 you can see here well not here let me try to put this up here where is this okay try to put this here well not easy but uh, there was uh, so operating income was three hundred and sixty three thousand dollars but then uh, we had here uh, other income net of eighty eight thousand which gives a uh, forty four hundred and fifty five four hundred fifty one thousand in uh, in in 
net income before income tax benefit and then a tax benefit of 135,000 which gives us our net income number of $586,780 and that's why the net profit margin was 15.8% without it the, the company earned 12 cents per share but without these benefits it would have earned 9 cents per share and when it starts paying taxes well you see the net profit margin will probably decline I've considered 12% over the long term it seems uh, reasonable for the, the, the type of business we were talking about and uh, computing all this I get a final net income estimate of 4.7 million and earnings per share estimate of 97 cents and uh, considering the, the industry average earnings multiple which is 25.25 you can see here on Yahoo the industry average 25.25 P uh, price to earnings ratio so that's my estimate and this gives me a final estimated share price this is for early 2010 of $24.59 and the share price compound annual growth rate of 47% and this means my optimal selling price would be $15.76 this is where the share price Kager would go down from uh, more than 16% to less than 16% and 16% is my minimum threshold so I would sell it here considering today's fundamentals uh, so on a 1 to 10 scale I give it an 8 uh, the, the business is very interesting and it is growing very well uh, so good luck if you own it and I'll, I'll maybe I'll buy it but uh, the stock re looks really overbought here and uh, well I, I'm gonna have to check it further but this was my 30 minute work or something like that. thank you bye